Hey students, welcome to the second video edition here. This time we're talking about the back side of that practice page, elimination. Remember in elimination, if you have opposites, then you're ready to add the equations and eliminate one variable type and solve for the remaining variable. But if you don't have opposites, you have to create them. And you know how to do that. Multiply one or both equations to create these opposites and rewrite these equations. So looking at a few hints on these four problems here, the first thing you might see in number seven is you already have opposites, so you're ready to add these equations together, eliminate, and solve. Jump over to number eight. Do you have opposites there? No, but you're pretty close. If you wanted to eliminate the x variables, what would you want them to meet up at? We'll do a little clue here for number eight. What if they met up at 20? I would want that top one to be negative 20, so times negative two. Discuss with your teams in nine and 10 which variables you want to be opposites and how you're gonna achieve that by multiplying one or both equations. You can pause this video, but in the meanwhile, I'm gonna go look at some story problems on elimination. Number 11, we've got a fundraiser here. Gabriella and Pranav are selling pies for a school fundraiser. Customers can buy apple pies and lemon meringue pies. So grabbing my highlighter, Gabriella sold 10 apple pies and 12 lemon meringue pies for $170. We don't know how much each of these pies costs. So in just a moment, we're gonna write our let statement after we highlight these two sentences. So we'll call X the cost of apple pie, and we'll call Y the cost of lemon meringue pie. Be sure to write down your let statements. Once you've done that, take a look at these. This is the elimination side. Standard form is very popular with elimination. So pause this video and discuss what you think the green sentence would translate to to an equation in the blue. And then resume this video to take a look and see how you did. Go ahead and hit the pause button. And welcome back. Let's take a look at the green equation. How about 10x plus 12y equals 170? How about the blue equation? 3x plus 6y equals 75. You've got your system of equations in standard form, so elimination would work best here. Let's eliminate the y variable by making it a negative 12y. So we multiply this equation by negative two, that will create that negative 12y. So now you're ready to solve this and find the cost of apple pie and lemon meringue pie. So that's your hint for 11. Let's take a look at number 12. If you need to pause this video on this so you can write it down, please do so and then resume and then we'll take a look at 12. Jose and Nicole each improved their yards by planting day lilies and ivy. They bought their supplies from the same store. Jose spent $26 on two day lilies and eight pots of ivy, so we'll highlight that. And Nicole spent $40 on six day lilies and five pots of ivy. We don't know the cost of a day lily or the cost of ivy, so let's write that down. Let X equal the cost of one day lily. And Y can equal the cost of one pot of ivy. All right, so we've got our variables defined. Next, let's write our sentence from the green one. Again, standard form is a strong hint here, so you can pause this video and see if your team came up with the right equation. Hit the pause button, and then we'll resume shortly. Okay, welcome back. Let's go ahead and write down our green equation. 26 equals 2x plus 8y. How'd your team do? How about the blue equation? How about 40 equals 6x plus 5y? You've got your system. Talk it over with your teams how you plan on solving this system. What are you going to multiply by? Once you solve it, find the other variable term and don't forget to check your solutions. Good luck, students, and thank you for behaving while I'm out of the classroom. We'll talk more tomorrow about these.